Now 2021, a year to remember. We continue our look back at the year that was. Two of the biggest stories of the year for us here in South Florida were, of course, Surfside and COVID. But there were a number of other stories that dominated local headlines and impacted our lives in 2021. Here's CBS 4's Hank Tester. The crown jewel of South Florida's tourism draw plagued with violence. Ocean Drive, South Beach, the city's entertainment district. The sound of gunfire, not uncommon. And not just on the weekends, any night, fights, assaults. The mayor fed up, demands the area be repurposed. We have to change this area. It cannot be an entertainment only area. Beach voters gave the mayor a place to start, a straw vote favoring a shutdown of liquor sales at 2 a.m., not the current five in the morning. Shocking surveillance video, Miami Gardens, El Mula nightclub, two dead, over 20 injured, eventually two suspects arrested. This type of gun violence has to stop. Every weekend it's the same thing. This is targeted, this is definitely not random. The beginning of closure? Well, maybe, as the Parkland Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooter Nicholas Cruz pleads guilty to killing 17 students and faculty. How do you wish to plead? Guilty. The message from Parkland parents? We need all Americans to come together and help us stop school shootings. Cruz faces a potential death sentence. Elsewhere in the news, 2021. We're seeing actual families relocate. Um, they've been given an opportunity over the last year to re-examine their lifestyle. Come on down. That's a message floated nationwide by Miami Mayor Francis Suarez. His target, high-tech startups from the Northeast and California. And why are they coming to Miami, abandoning California and New York? In Florida, we don't have a state income tax. In California, that tax rate is up to 12, over 12%, and it's scheduled to go higher. And when we start laying out the tax savings, they, they really start to think about it. The mayor's come on and a restless American workforce, battered by the impact of COVID, making moves, reevaluating their life goals, come south, and the result, Single-family homes and condos garnered record sale prices. Rents skyrocketed. Something that would normally rent for, you know, $1,400, $1,500 is now getting an additional four or $500, so you're well over $2,000 a month. In South Florida, Cuba's never far from the headlines. July, on the island, massive protests across the country. Cries for freedom fueled by food and medical shortages. Those protests echoed in Miami as thousands hit the streets. In Cuba, a major crackdown, 1,200 arrests. Many of those folks still in jail at the year's end. And in the So South Florida news category, iguanas in toilets happen more than a couple of times. Your bear behind is over the toilet and there's something in there. That's something big, something with teeth, something that can bite you down there. And there was high rent, supply chain issues. 2021 was all about the new normal, piled on top of South Florida's usual chaotic news scene. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.